Hi guys. This is Elsie Escobar from Elsie's Yogacoola.com and Elsie's Yoga Class Live and Unplugged podcast. And I am trying to find an email that one of you, my podcast listeners, sent to me. And it has to do with some of the books that I recommend for sort of deepening your practice, in a way, of yoga. So she says, I am a beginner at yoga and just subscribed to your podcast. I'm interested in reading more about yoga and was wondering if there are any books that you would recommend. So um, I, I sort of like looked through my books that I had in my little library and I'm going to share with you guys the ones that kind of really struck me or, or the ones that I always go back to or the ones that I feel that I learned uh, more from. So let's begin with, this is actually one of my favorites. This is one of the ones that I read from cover to cover. This is the Woman's Book of Yoga and Health. Linda Sparrow with Yoga Sequences by Patricia Walden. So um, this book is full of information. I can't even begin to tell you. What I love about it is that it has uh, sequences, right? It has sequences. You can see the sequences of the, um, the poses here. There are pictures of them. Every single one of these uh, poses has a description of how to do it underneath it. It also has effects of, of what these poses do for you. Uh, so that's nothing different, right? That's nothing different. But what I really love about this book is that it gives you, before you begin any one of these uh, chapters, they also have a deep, um, uh, Miss Linda Sparrow has a wonderful way of letting us know so much more about uh, certain issues, certain issues in your body. So she has, let me get to the front part of it really quick. Uh, let's say, like, there's a whole entire sequence for, let's say, when you're pregnant. Mind you, this is focused on women. <laughs> when it, it's, it's called Part 3, Coming into Fullness, page 133. And what's amazing is that that whole beginning part of, uh, there's an introduction that totally talks about what your body goes through in terms of labor and pregnancy. It also gives you, in chapter 7, it gives you um, some inside stories in terms of what you can expect from your pregnancy, second trimester, and whatnot. And then um, there are hints and tips by the mighty Patricia Walden, who gives little tips in terms of the sequences. The pictures are there, and there are also breathing things. Now this isn't just for pregnancy. This is actually for working with depression, working with PMS, working with anorexia, and every time that I, or, or respiratory problems, I was fascinated by this book because it gets into so much depth, so much depth about the poses themselves, which is really, really great. Um, yeah, so I would, I would definitely, this is one of my favorites. The, the, the Woman's Book of Yoga and Health. Another one that I adore is Relax and Renew, Rena Relax and Renew by Judith Lassiter. This book uh, also goes into in depth about, this is specifically about restorative postures. But what I love about it is the fact that it gives you a real kind of distilled sense of what yoga is, yoga philosophy, and it also really talks about st the stress response, how important relaxation is, and all of that stuff that a lot of the time we just take for granted. We really just take for granted. She breaks down 
how to use props, what props you need, how long you should practice them. She gives you very simple hints in terms of breathing exercises. And I think every single one of us needs to have a restorative practice, needs to have a restorative practice above anything else. So this is a wonderful book to, to, to look into and to dive into here. I love this book. I use a lot of this in my classes. One of my other favorites is Yoga from the Inside Out, Making Peace with Your Body Through Yoga. And this is by one of the, an amazing yoga teacher. Her name is Christina Sell. She is a certified Anusara teacher. She also has a blog that I read religiously, even though she doesn't know it, but she might know it now because I'm talking about it. <laughs> but um, I, I, I don't know if you can see all the little thingies that are sticking out of this thing because I just adore this book. This was one of the easiest reads, one of the easiest reads for me to get into. And it really is about exactly what it says, making peace with your body through yoga. And she really moves into the philosophy of yoga and in a way that isn't um, somewhere out there and somewhere in India, but it really makes it be about you, about stepping into who you are and in yourself and 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 sort of um, gives examples of how that manifests itself in different bodies and different experiences and and what it really means so um, I think if you were to buy any of these books I would start with this one uh, and just kind of go through it and learn as much as you can all right and then we have two more Ayurveda for women Ayurveda for women Ayurveda for women. <laughs> this is by Robert E. Svoboda. He is one of the top uh, Ayurvedic teachers around. And this is also a pretty easy read, although there's a lot of jargon and there's a lot of new information that I would say the majority, the lay Western yoga female practitioner may have never heard before. So when you sort of start to read this, put your like, you know, thinking cap on and kind of get really soft so that you uh, allow yourself to learn all of this new stuff. But it's got some really fantastic information about our cycles and about how to attune with nature and about food and um, what Ayurveda is, which I think, you know, all of us should at minimum know what it is and have experienced at least like a little bit of it, uh, which is very, very simple. There's some really simple practices that you can get from here. Uh, so. This is one of my faves. And the last one isn't necessarily a yoga book. But I have actually, I think I bought this for a bunch of people already. This is Mother Daughter Wisdom by Christiane Northrup. She is just an amazing woman. And this book is really about the relationship with your mother, but it but it's also with the relationship with your daughters. And then it also is about the relationship with yourself as a female and the way that I can't even begin to express to you what it is. Maybe I should just read what it says on the back. Okay, here we go. Starting even before birth, the mother-daughter relationship directly impacts our physical health and emotional well-being for our entire lives. Now Dr. Northrup shows how we can use our understanding of this primal bond to repair the past, achieve optimal health, and create a positive legacy for the next generation. So it talks about all kinds of female things, especially anything that goes below the waist, all kinds of stuff. And it gives you, this is why the loveliest part that I, I really like, it gives you uh, lots to think about because it's not just about oh I have fibroid tumors but it gives you perhaps what may have caused them not because of your anatomy or your physiology but perhaps what you were thinking perhaps what you were feeling perhaps relationships that you're around um, it actually gives a really well-rounded uh, process towards healing and to see relationships in a really new way. So um, even though it's not necessarily yoga, I think it's an incredibly helpful book. It helped me like you would not believe to understand 
lots of things about me and the way that my body worked and the way that I was choosing certain things over others that weren't necessarily the best for me. I learned an awful lot from this. It was like, um, it was sort of like, oh, oh, it was like that kind of a book. So I hope that helps. If you would like, um, if you have any more questions, anybody, anybody, please feel free to uh, email me at eyogaclass at gmail.com. You can leave me a comment at uh, lcsyogacoola.com or you can just send me like a voice feedback or something like that. You can even call me 310-651-6238, 310-651-6238 and I hope to hear from you very, very soon. Bye-bye.